Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize and min-max your Torgas score, some ways that you can kind of thought processes to be going for, and some of the easiest bonus points to get, um, as well as just some example run of what a really fast run that is doing all of those things look like. So this is going to be, I'm just going to show you the stream VOD of me doing this. Uh, it was on a monk. Monk has a really OP anima power that I was abusing to do this as well, but even with that, I ended, you know, 47 points above the five-star threshold, so uh, you could do it with a lot less and still get to that level. Uh, so hopefully there's some useful tips in here if you care about your Torgas score. You might be wondering, should I care about my Torgas score? Uh, and the answer is, doesn't really matter. The higher your Torgas score, if you can get up to a five-star run, you'll get more Torgas knowledge from that run, uh, meaning that you can cap out at Torgas knowledge from just doing two runs per week instead of falling below the cap, um, which is nice, and maybe you need a four-star run to unlock the next layer. We don't know if that's true yet, but that was how it worked on PTR. Um, and eventually you will need to be able to do five-star runs to unlock the Adamant Vault layers. We don't know if those still have the good rewards they had on PTR, but on PTR, they were nice. You could get sockets and stuff from them. So it might be worth knowing how to do this, um, and there's a lot of easy bonus points available from some pretty simple tricks. So I talk a lot about this during this run. Uh, it's just ripped right from stream. Uh, I figured a lot of people were asking to see a full run. Uh, so I will put that up now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my stream and stuff. And yeah, have a good one. Oh, let's go. Actually, I'm going to do this as Brewmaster. Make it a little easier. All right. Uh, that one. Yeah, all this other stuff should be fine. Two hours according to the limit gang? That is unlucky. I, I've always just found it. What do you get at tier four? There's a quest you can do once you get to tier four that um, gives you uh, extra relic rewards or whatever, like 20% more relics. So that's, that's the only reason you'd want to get there before the Darkmoon Fair, because like the sooner you get that, the better. Two min run per floor for 50 points. Um, the 50 points angle from time, I think completion is the better thing to maximize than uh, than time. I think you, I, I think you, if if you're playing a tank, you just go for like 100 completion and you know 20 time or whatever. Don't worry too much about it. You try and get a good big pull with empowered. That'll get you some nice extra points as well. I don't know, this Brewmaster is kind of cheating because you just run into the middle of enemies and cast Vivify. Because for some reason, <laughs> this anima power is still in the game. I, I couldn't tell you why. How do you get to the southern part of Corthia? Uh, if you scroll back in my VOD like 10 minutes, I just like glided off the edge, died, and then released and rezzed over there. Is Tormentors of Torgas available yet? Yeah. Am I tanking again this tier? Yeah. Oh, you really want to avoid getting hit by any traps if you can as well. That's 10 bonus points. It's so good. Take no trap damage. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> God, Torghast is so fair and balanced. <laughs> this is so much harder than every other spec. What's my best run yet? I think 180 points or something. Yeah, I've done. I've only done it as Guardian so far. I haven't done any Brewmaster ones yet, but with the power of a uh, corrosive dosage, I feel like this one should be pretty, pretty free. What do I main? Uh, it's gonna be Guardian this tier is the current plan. My time is valuable, you know. Okay. Yeah, Corrosive Dosage is a uh, completely unreasonable anima power. God, Uncapped AoE feels so good, though. 
Love it. All right, I think we uh, give this whole bit the dose. If I tried Necrolord Monk, no, I, my Monk has never been Necrolord. It's only ever been Kyrian. Get the dose going. Oh, I gotta do this thing. Power. Okay, now we vivify Adam. Do so they uncap all AoE AoEs? No. Unfortunately, they have not. But this Torghast power is uncapped. Okay, we don't take epic powers. Epic power is bad. That's a point loss. Never take epic power. Uh, take this thing, though. Normally, I would... Be, I'd hesitate to take a duplicate power as well. Because that's also a point loss, but I've already taken one because this power is OP. I'm never going to pass this. Can you progress to rest at 10 by running a 9 with a group? Uh, I don't know yet because 10 isn't available yet. 10 is available next week, so whatever is a, whatever about like getting to layer 10, we won't really know for sure until next week. If you finish with three stars, you don't get the layer. I don't know. That's what that's what Wowhead says. But again, no idea, right? That that was how it worked on PTR, I guess. But that's the kind of thing that could change, and they wouldn't necessarily tell us. Is there a list to see what gets point loss? So it's not so much point loss as there are bonus points available for a bunch of things. And yeah, there's a there's a list on Wowhead. It's like my my newest YouTube video. If you go there, you, in, in the description, there's a link to it to the uh, the Wowhead post. But there's a bunch of... I'll show you... Hopefully this, this run is a good formula for a way to get a lot of points. Obviously I'm using a very OP cheater animal power, so not everybody can replicate that if you're not playing a spec that has cheater animal powers, but... Yeah, that's what it is. Every spec kind of does? Eh. Yeah, it depends. I, I, I think that corrosive, is, corrosive dosage, especially since it's a common anima power, is kind of a special type of cheater. It feels especially dirty. Like you literally just cast heal on yourself and everything dies. You just walk near them. There's no counterplay. <laughs> okay, so I think this is going to be... Yeah. don't even know why I'm casting anything other than... Viv. It's literally such a DPS loss to pop my cooldowns and use my buttons versus just casting Vivify. I don't even know if Touch of Death is an efficient global. I guess it probably is, but... Actually, don't even know. What's his anima power? Uh, how close do you need to be to damage them? Like, uh... Nearby. You have to be nearby. Plasma increase. Will I make new route videos for Tormented? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, do you know if unlocking dungeon portals is not supposed to happen this week? Uh, I know that you can do it this week. I don't know about anything about whether that's supposed to happen or not. But yeah, I mean, you can do it this week, so... I don't know why it wouldn't happen. What are the Tormented to Torghast? It's a 
weekly ma event that awards soul cinders, uh, and so should be done. Are we able to open the weekly box yet? I think so, yeah. I think they fixed it during the maintenance this morning. I don't know. I opened my weekly box before they disabled it the first time. Is 9 the highest Torghast layer we can do this week? Yes. Do you just hang out in the Maw waiting for the event to spawn? Yeah, I was I was just waiting, like, doing the Night Fae Assault. It spawned. Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do collect another dosage. All right, so here's the... Oh, hoo -hoo. here's the strat. You buy this ravenous anima cell, and you anima cell the broker, because that'll give you five bonus points when you do that. Okay. Well, I've just doubled my damage from an already considerable amount of damage. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I'll, sh I'll show you guys at the end of this run. This, this run is huge, huge tutorial value. Is five a lot? That's so many. You only need 200 to get your flawless run. Is there going to be a Popsicle Cornbread raid this week? I think so, yeah. Shouldn't you do the bonus on layer 5, though? Uh, well, on layer 5, I'm going to make sure I fight the boss with 500 Phantasma for that bonus. So I want to know exactly how much I'm going to have for that. I guess it probably doesn't matter which one you do it for. Yeah, exactly. Five, 500 Phantasma before going into last boss. Is time a major thing in Torghast rating system? Uh, more important than time is completion. So if you're ever in a situation like this, like here's the end of the level I'm at now, I could just go and rush to that, but that will probably cost me a uh, score because this hallway I haven't cleared. So I should go clear this hallway. This is going to be worth more points. Although, I do need to avoid taking damage from traps. Unless, wait, at least disabled. Okay. Weird. Friend keeps telling you Kyrian survival is meta and MM is dead. Kyrian hunter is meta. Unfortunately, survival is not meta yet. <laughs> Are you supposed to use your buff and kill stuff during it? Yeah, I guess it's a good idea. get some some enemies down during that. I need a weak aura that tells me when it's all the way charged. This is so far away from where my eyes look. Okay. Yeah, you're the spear. You're the spear. Am I happy with how... <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that they made it so that uh, treasures despawn. I think that's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad about that. <laughs> Imagine not just shadow melting and looting it. You always want to free all the souls. They give you a boatload of Empowered, but they also count for a huge amount of the um, completion as well. Ah, okay, so the traps will be active now. Now, this is a big test for me. Can I get through here without taking trap damage? Normally, I don't care if I get hit by one, but this is, this is big points. Oh my goodness. It's never been done before. They said it couldn't be done. Hold. Hold. Alright, now we vivify ourselves aggressively. Think you got hit by something earlier? There's no way. There's no way I would ever get hit by a trap. I would never be foolish enough to just sacrifice my points like that. 
Does each character need to get a four gem score? I don't know. Eventually, on any character you care about, I think you're going to need to get five gem scores to go to Adamant Vaults, so may as well practice now. I got hit earlier? There's no way. There's no way I would get hit earlier. You guys are having a, uh, experiencing a, a collective delusion. May I tempt you with my wares? Okay, so we don't spend below 500 here. Yeah, whatever. This should all just be enough. I guess I'll buy this thing. Oh, actually, if I can get to 30 powers, there's a bonus point for that as well. But I guess I'm probably not going to get there. Yeah, 26 powers. Nope, not going to happen. All right. Okay. Prepare to be amazed. Ha. Gameplay. Yes. Oh. 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 So cool. <laughs> Look at those points. Oh my goodness. Incredible. All right, so yeah, here's here's the points we got. No enemy reached four unnatural powers, so this is something you can only... These 15 points are only good if you have cheater anima powers. Pillager, though, 90% of Ashen File actually is destroyed. Anybody can get that. Pauper, no epic anima powers. Anybody can get that. Robbed a broker, that's where you, you use your anima thing on a broker, right? Your anima cell. Daredevil, two elites killed within 10 seconds. This you can usually engineer to happen even if your build is kind of scuffed. Although sometimes it can be hard. Opened a treasure chest. Again, also pretty easy to do. Boss killed in under 20 seconds. Okay, that requires, you know, some cheater anima powers. Uh, and then Hoarder, group finished with 500 Phantasma. So, if you cut out the ones from being super OP, that's 35 points south. So, you would need to... You pro if you cut those out, you could probably be, like, right around part-time, a little bit faster than part-time, and still get the 200 points. I don't know. I could have used Empowered bonus better, right? Like, I finished my run with an Empowered available. Only got 18 points from this. So you could probably get more points from Empowered if you're being smart. Uh, okay, one thing you can do when you're doing this strat as well, if you are getting... What is it? If you're getting 500 Phantasma at the end of the run, you can then come back and pick up your Transmogs after as well, Right? After the run's over, you can be like, oh, don't mind if I do collect some transmogs, too. Aha! That's right. You get to have your cake and eat it, too. 